as can be, and a witch with french fries tastes delicious to me. Like the dragon, I've had moments of cruelty in my life, specifically when I dropped my cat on top of my other cat. I definitely terrified her. I was at one summer way, my house, my room, my two cats. One was peacefully sitting on the bed. His name is Moses. The other cat, Misty, was sitting in the doorway. I looked around the room and found it was peaceful. Too peaceful. Hmm, how can I break the peace, I thought. Hmm, you're a Rika. I got it. I carefully picked up Misty, who was still resting peacefully in the doorway. She didn't even flinch, realizing what I was about to do. Excitement filled my body with a little kid in a candy shop. I carried Misty over to Moses, who was now looking intently at me. He had no idea what I was up to either. Sometimes my cat can be a little oblivious to the outside world. Quickly, without thinking there would be any consequences, I dropped Misty on top of Moses. He shot out, hissed loudly, and jumped in opposite directions. Yes, I successfully disturbed the peace. <laughs> my mother, who was downstairs at the time, saw the cat running down her stairs at lightning speed. She knew I was up to no good. <laughs> <laughs> The dragon and I can both be cruel sometimes. Unlike the dragon, I luckily got out of my cruel actions without any consequences. I am very surprised by this, but thankful at the same time. Thank you. <laughs> I would now like to introduce my friend, Natalie Zaturk. Thank <laughs> you.